earlier on the stream today, I was asked if I could showcase my Ganyu. And then I checked my YouTube channel and the last time I did an update on Ganyu was 5 months ago. So I thought I should record a new update and basically showcase what has changed and what hasn't changed and yeah. So we have two Ganyus. I have Ganyu on my alt account and my main account. Currently we're on my alt account. And yeah, let's go over her stats. So as you can see here, we have a pretty good crit ratio. Basically 65% crit rate to 180% crit damage. Some elemental mastery that's from the artifact set and some artifact subset. And pretty high attack value, which is 2.4k. Then we have the Amos Bow on Ganyu here. Um, this is probably her, or this is the best weapon as of today you can run on Ganyu. Um, from what I have seen, the Polar Star is also very, very powerful, but it will not come close to the Amos Bow. So, if we look at the passive, it increases normal and charge attack damage, which Ganyu mostly does. If you want to play her as a main DPS, you only do charge attack. So, this 12% charge attack damage will be very, very great for Ganyu. So, looking over artifacts. The best artifact set, um, in my opinion, or see people like to disagree with that, is the Wondrous Troop. You get a 35% charge attack damage bonus if your character uses Catalyst or Bow. Ganya uses Bow, so uh, her charge attack gets uh, in charge attack damage gets increased by this artifact set. The two piece set can be seen as useless. If you play mono cryo team or something, but if you have like, uh, I guess a pyro support in the team, you can do some heavy melts. I've done one like a week ago where I did a hundred K, um, in Spar Abyss. So the, the elemental mastery is not that bad. It's very situational. So we can actually look over the artifacts. If you want to see the stats here, we have, um, double crit. We almost have everywhere double crit. Apart from one artifact, which is the sand, as you will see in a second. And yeah, those are pretty good artifacts. You will actually have to farm a lot to get something similar to this, or you have to be lucky. Um, yeah, both can work. And yeah, you, you want to look out for something like this. Crit is very important, double crit, attack percentage. That's like what you really need on Ganya. The rest doesn't really matter. The mental mastery is not really required, maybe some energy recharge to get her celestial shower a bit quicker, but overall that's what you are looking out for. So if we look at the plume, sim similar case, double crit, attack percentage, some HP percentage, um, yeah, that's nice. Same with here, uh, unfortunately we haven't gotten a better um, sense of Ian, so we're running this one here with 21% crit damage and some high elemental mastery, actually two rolls into it. And yeah, double HP. The goblet, cryo damage bonus goblet, obviously. Um, crit here and attack percentage. We actually had this one here, but uh, as you can see here, it turned out uh, not that great. So we're using this cryo damage bonus goblet. So the circlet here is also not the best Wanderer's Troop circlet that's out there, but it's doing its job. We have some crit rate from it, some crit damage. And yeah, the rest are flat rolls, which you usually don't want to have, but we don't have a replacement for it. Now, talent focus obviously max out the normal attack. Um, that's where the um, charge attack scales from. As you can see, your aim shot is all affected by the normal attack. Um, Frost flake arrow and uh, the bloom both count as charge attack. So those. Uh, their damage will actually be increased by the Wanderer's Troop set. And yeah, so make sure to level it as high as possible. You can obviously crown her. Um, I could do that. I just don't use crowns in this game. And yeah, the rest is uh, pretty nice. You can upgrade them. Not really necessary. What's very, very important is the um, normal attack from Ganyu. So. So, to showcase Ganyu's damage, we actually went into the, uh, the Dovalin domain. It's a level 40 Dovalin, so nothing too crazy. We just want to showcase her damage. Um, breaking his shield, and we're gonna charge at his horn, 
and if we are lucky and everything crits, we'll see the full damage. Yeah, so the normal attack or the first aim shot didn't crit, but as you can see, the bloom did around 30k damage, um, which is actually pretty good. That's something you really want to have if you play Ganyu and if you want to fully utilize her damage, that's how much you should aim for. So, we're now in the main account with my Ganyu, as you can see here. The stats look a bit different than on the alt account. Um, let's have a quick overview on it. So, we have a pretty similar setup with a few differences. So, as you can see here, the stats are almost 70% crit rate, 222 or 24% crit damage, some energy recharge, and uh, the cryo damage bonus here, 46.6%. So the weapon is actually here, the Thundering Pulse. Um, this is the only five star bow I have on my main account. And it comes with a different passive and comes with some crit damage uh, percentage. The artifacts are pretty similar again. Uh, four piece wondrous troop set. As you can see here, we can go over the stats really quick. Double crit again and attack as always. Your high crit, high attack. Some double crit here, some elemental mastery, double crit attack, double crit energy recharge, and yeah. So, constellation is uh, on both accounts zero, I forgot to mention that on the other one. And the talents priority, again, try to max out uh, the normal attack. As always, I don't use crowns, so it's not level 10. So. The weapon, the Thundering Pulse, doesn't get a charge attack damage bonus. It gets uh, only um, normal attack damage bonus, which is uh, 12, 24, or 40%, depending on your stack levels. If you know the weapon series, you know how this passive works. Now, uh, another alternative weapon would be the Prototype Crescent, and I'll probably showcase the damage on that one too after we did it on the Thundering Pulse. Alright, so again for showcase purposes we're facing a level 40 Devolin. Um, pretty much similar setup as to earlier with the alt account and we'll just break the shield really quick and then shoot at him and hope it crits so we can see the full damage. So, as you just saw, we literally just did less damage with the Thundering Pulse Bow on Ganyu even though we have much better stats compared to the alt account and that's due to how the bow works and the bow's refinement and whatever and now we will showcase it with the prototype crescent so before i actually forget it the stats on ganyu with the prototype crescent are like this a lot less crit damage um crit rate stays the same and the attack is also pretty similar again for showcase purposes a level 40 the volin will break a shield and then we hope it crits so we can actually showcase the full damage. As you can see, we did the highest damage with the Amos bow. Um, second highest damage was with the um, so-called Thundering Pulse bow. And third highest damage was um, with the prototype crescent obviously if you activate the buff from the prototype crescent you will be dealing much more damage but since it only took us one shot um to defeat the volume we couldn't really make uh, use of the refinement passive and i think that's about it i hope this showcase actually helped you out because i know um the other showcases i did weren't that in depth and didn't actually show much of uh, Ganyu's damage or gameplay and whatever and I hope this actually helps you to proper up your build and have a high damage dealing Ganyu and um, yeah 
see ya.